All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're ready for another sentence that we're going to kind of run through the process and see if the clause, see if through the process of identifying clauses, if it helps us clarify the meaning of the sentence. And number one was kind of a mess. And we found a way to kind of get that to be more clear and concise. And the way that we do that is making sure that the verb, the subject, the predicate, the conjunction, that it all makes sense. And we recognize that number one was kind of a hot mess. We're going to see if the same thing holds true with sentence number two. Sentence number two, and we are going to go through the whole process. We're going to find the verbs. We're going to find the subjects. We're going to find the predicates, and we're going to find the conjunctions. And we're going to see if we can uh, clarify the language or if it needs anything cleaned up at all. So we'll see if it's a well-written sentence or not. Here we go. Sentence number two. You succeed by motivation. Be motivating yourself more than others, even if even think of the word motivation. Uh, okay, another sentence that hopefully just by the initial reading, and, and I even stumbled on it, and I've read this 15 times by now, um, you recognize there are some issues with this. So let's uh, create a little bit of space here, just so you can see what I'm doing because if I need to pull out the clauses, I definitely can. We're gonna find the verbs first. You succeed by motivating. So you succeed. Succeed is going to be in blue. That is the first verb we're looking at. Be motivating yourself. I'm gonna, because I kind of get an idea what this student was doing, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight both of those. You'll see why in a second. That's just for a time management here yourself more than others even think of the word and that's the way they were intending this is they're actually telling the reader to actually think of the word motivation and that's a way to succeed at being motivated and i only know that because i remember who that student was and and we had conversations about this sentence specifically but those three verbs are what this person intended to be the original verbs so let's go through each one of them. Who or what succeed? You, you succeed. Okay, I'll put that in green and underline. Who or what be motivating? You, I'm gonna go ahead and put you there. And I'm going to possibly come back to that one in just a second, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and underline and put in green. And then the third one, think. Your, um, be motivating yourself more than others even think than others. Others, in this case, is going to be the subject for think. So I'm going to make that green and underline it. Others think. All right, let's see if we can find the rest of the thoughts. You succeed who, what, why, how, you, whatever finishes that thought. You succeed by motivation that the author is attending, intending this to be the rest of that thought. The next one, you be motivating yourself more than others even. So this one, it would be the whole thing. I'm not going to put it all in gray right now because that will eliminate the colors that are already there. But that's the idea. They're trying to keep that whole thought together. We'll come back to that one. Than others even think of the word motivation. So others even think of the word motivation. That's going to be the rest of the thought for others. And we understand it's actually a thought inside of a thought, the way that it's written here. Okay. We also have a conjunction, than. We recognize that is one of the subordinating conjunctions, not a coordinating conjunction. I have to say that word with the rest of that clause. And when I do, it doesn't sound correct. So I'm going to put that one in orange. Then others even think of the word motivation. Okay, now let's address some of the issues that we may have here. You succeed by motivation. Let me go ahead and, well, I'm not going to retype that one and put that down there because the issue really becomes after the comma. And let's just address a specific thing right here. The original author put, be motivating yourself we could probably do ourselves a huge favor by just changing be motivating to the word motivate. You succeed by motivation. Motivate yourself more than others even think of the word motivation. Okay, so let me put that one down here. Motivate 
itself. Come on, Kimball. Motivate yourself even more than others even think of the word motivation. That's kind of the idea. I think there's a little bit of clarification we can do even inside of that one. So one thing that I challenged my students whenever they originally talked about this is don't be afraid to separate your ideas, okay? Just because you throw a comma in there doesn't mean that it makes sense with what you're trying to do, what your overall objective is. I believe these two ideas should be separated. So the first one, you succeed by motivation. I think that should be a period. I think that's a solid idea. I think it needs to be separated from anything else you say because the next sentence is actually just a support type of sentence, but there's a lot going on in it. So I would wanna keep the short and concise sentence that is a clear thought away from the ex explanation thought or the expounding thought or the elaborate thought. Because I feel like this author is trying to give an example of how you motivate yourself. You succeed by motivation. Motivate yourself even more than others even think of the word motivation. That's it's just the word motivate is in this way too many times. I think what the author is trying to get across is that you should think about different ways to motivate yourself even more than other people even think of that individual word. And I know I'm just kind of expanding on the same thing, but I'm just trying to talk through what is this person trying to say? Because the message is not really clear right here. Motivate yourself even more than others. Even Cut all that extra word out. We tend to do this as students. And I see this over and over and over and over again, where people think, oh, I got a lot of words there. So that's really a fantastic sentence. No, sometimes clear and concise just means it's short. Okay. I would even, in the, the thought idea here, what I think this author is trying to get across is just constantly try to find ways to motivate yourself. Okay. You succeed by motivation, motivate, motivate yourself frequently. Again, one of these days I'll actually take some typing lessons. Now, is that perfect? No. Does it go with maybe a, a bigger picture of what that person was writing? Possibly. We don't have the whole paragraph here. I think if we're going to write an expounding sentence or um, a, an elaborate type of sentence or just elaborating my idea here and give myself an example, I want to give something more specific. Like, how do you motivate yourself? Well, maybe you want to add to this and this is where we start talking about editing your paragraph and editing your ideas, you would add specific ways to motivate yourself. Maybe it's through reading, maybe it's through watching uh, motivational videos, inspiring people. Um, find different ways that are very, very specific to motivate yourself. And then you put those two together. You succeed by motivation. I still have a little bit of problem with the by motivation. You succeed by being motivated, might be even a little bit stronger. You succeed by being motivated. Now, if I change that, then I can make this even more concise and just take that word frequently and put it up in there. You succeed by being frequently motivated. And then I get rid of all this other stuff. And I just, I got rid of all the fluff. Now, again, perfect, not by any means. Might it change something with the rest of the paragraph? Very possibly. And I'm going to say, yes, it actually would, because that person did go on to give specific examples of what they're talking about being motivated. I just think that this was really wordy and pretty much unnecessary. Um, to, to add all of those words just be, because you feel like you have to reach some kind of a word limit doesn't mean that all those words are actually good for the process. All right. Hopefully that helps. I'll talk to you later.